in your view, how does one navigate in the brand new world of technological change? Um, I will just say one word, curiosity. Be curious. Be curious about what's happening around you, uh, what's happening in the industry that you want to get involved in or are already involved in, and particularly in relation to tech. Personally, I find tech very exciting, very challenging. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, it's like exploring. So it's like um, Star Trek for mortals to boldly go where no one has gone before. So you want to go, you want to explore. It's an adventure, right? So that's the second word I will add, explore. So let me give you some examples to me uh, that have happened in basically the last eight months, in the last 12 months, okay? Um, there's something called Otter, O-T-T-E-R dot A-I. So Otter is a software that converts conversation into text. So for example, in this interview, if you have Otter on your phone, you can press record. And what Otter would be doing is Otter would be capturing this entire conversation and converting it into text, right? Now, that is a tremendous achievement. Uh, is it going to be letter perfect? No, but imagine how much time it saves to create captions, to record meetings, to record interviews, for report writing. Yeah, it's going to be staggering. Um, second example, Zoom. And of course we use Zoom because everybody talks about Zoom, right? Mm -hmm. So that's a technological change. Do we anticipate it? No, but Zoom has actually been around since 2013. So in, 20, mm -hmm. in 2014, Zoom had, what, 10 million daily users. Today, Zoom has more than 300 million daily users. That's technological change. So if you are curious and if you're willing to explore, then you will be able to have exposure to these kinds of technological changes and they can be important in your life. Be what are the emerging skills for future lawyers in the COVID-19 era? Wow, emerging skills. I'll tell you a little secret. Every skill becomes emerging when it's needed, mm -hmm. right? So again, I go back to the Zoom example. We didn't know we needed Zoom until we needed Zoom, right? Um, so I think that when we talk about emerging skills for future lawyers, what you need to think about is First, what do you want to do? What is your passion? What is your purpose? So I know a lot of people who may have a law degree, but who have absolutely no intention of practicing law. In fact, from the time when I was teaching law, um, I would say only 40% of the law graduates we taught actually ended up in legal practice. Only 40%. The other 60% went to the corporate sector, went into journalism, went into media, went into a whole range of um, different things. So how do you decide what skills you're going to use? It depends on what you want to do. Second, look at the industry you want to join and explore what is happening in that industry. So if you're joining the legal profession, then you must take particular interest in legal tech. If you're joining the banking and financial services sector, then you must care about fintech. Um, so at the end of the day, it depends on what industry you join. And third, I always believe in affinity. Yeah, there are some things that you are naturally drawn to. So look at what you're naturally drawn to because it is your mind's way of telling you what you might be good at. So look for things that you have affinity with and then pursue those things. Now, there's so much information available online about skills, competencies, capabilities. Explore those and then those that catch your attention, pay attention and pursue them. Yeah, and who knows what might come from that.